This video is part of the course that is build reports with Jasper Reports, Java and Spring Boot. Link for this course is given in the description. Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we will create parameter and will assign its value to text field. So as I already said, right, when we want to have dynamic value from our Java application to particular element in our report, we use parameters. Okay. So here in outline, you will see parameters expanded and these are already provided by Jasper report. Okay. So we will not touch this. So here just right click and click on this create parameter. So this is being created. Okay. Now right click on it and just click show properties. So here in this text field, okay, we want to show the student's name. Obviously that will be type of string. Okay. So here we can select that what kind of value we want to pass to this parameter from our Java application. So in our case, we are going to pass the student's name to this text field, basically to this parameter. So we will select Java lang string, but say for example, if you want to show students roll number or any numeric value, you can go for Java lang integer or Java lang long. Okay. So let's select Java lang string and now this will be the name of your parameter. Okay. So this is very useful. Say I'm giving student name. So what happens in our Java application, we use Java util map. Okay. And in that the type of key is string and data type for value is object. So what happens, whatever value we put right in that map in our Java application, we need to use this key. Okay. That's why this name is very, very important. Whatever you give. Okay. It's up to you. So give meaningful name and remember that the exact thing with this key, you need to put in the Java util map in your Java application. Now save it. So if you see over here, this is your parameter. Okay. Now what happens, whatever you put in your Java application inside the Java util map, right? That value will come to this parameter. Okay. Now we need to assign this value from this parameter to element. In our case, we want to assign this parameters value to this text field, right? So whatever element, okay, it can be any other element as well. Now right click on the particular element in our case, text field. So properties. So the first you will see expression. Okay. So just click over here. Let me maximize this. On the top, you will see parameters. So this will display all the parameters, okay, including the default provided by Jasper report. And at the end, you will see the parameters you created. Okay. So here I'm having this student name because just now we created, okay, that is type of string. Okay. Just double click on it. See what appears over here. You can manually type over here as well. Okay. So this is indicating that this is the parameter. And this is the name of the parameter inside the braces. Okay. Click on the finish and save. If you remember this parameter name, you can manually type this over here as well. Okay. Dollar P is indicating this is parameter inside the braces. You can go for parameter name, but it's better to go by this. Okay. Because it will show you all the parameters. Just double click on this so that you will not make any mistake in typing the parameter name. Because if you do any mistake over here, okay, then it will be trouble for you to identify any minor mistake over here. Okay. So it's always better to go via this icon. Okay. Save the report. So now what will happen? Whatever value we pass from our Java application to this parameter, okay, student name that will be assigned to this text field via this expression because we said, okay, use this parameters value to this text field. Now some sort of design is ready for our Jasper report. Okay. So personally, what I prefer is just copy this report file. Okay. The JRXML file and then go to your Eclipse or STS and inside the SRC main resources. Okay. Paste over there because we are going to use this report file within our Java project. Okay. This is stored on some different location, whatever is workspace for this Jasper shop studio. Okay. So once you copy it, what I prefer is to delete from over here. Okay. 
just delete it. Now go to your IDE, in our case STS, okay. Now double click on this. See, it will automatically open it with Jaspersoft Studio. Now this file is not inside the workspace of the Jaspersoft Studio, but it is from our Java project. Okay, so whatever modifications we'll do over here in our design, okay, whatever in future that will automatically get reflected because this is stored inside our project itself. Okay, so better to do this rather than, you know, every time copying this file from here to your project. So generally, this is what I prefer once we have some sort of design ready, some structure ready, right? And we start writing our Java application code, then copy inside the SRC main resources and then you can open this one with Jaspersoft Studio and you can make the changes okay because this is nothing but XML format you can see over here right now let's have path for this file okay so this is where it's stored let me copy this and let's maximize so file path first report dot jr xml so this file path we will use to compile our jasper report when we actually create the report right or say for example we are exporting the report in the format of pdf or any other format okay now as i already said that whatever parameters over here we have right we need to pass its value using java util map okay so let's do that let's have one map okay so here you need to remember one thing okay whatever map you create to pass your parameters your key data type okay data type for the key should be string and data type for value should be object okay you don't need to select any other okay otherwise it will not work make sure you stick to these two data types okay for key string and for value object okay this is our parameters string object now here in jasper swap studio right we have this parameter right so better to copy this so this will be key inside our map okay so parameters dot put this will be our key and here our value whatever we want to pass okay say for example i want to pass student's name as john okay so this is how you set the parameters okay say for example if you have one more parameter over here okay of type of long say for example roll number okay you can go for you know key as a roll number whatever parameter over here and value long it will work why because for the value we have data type as object okay so this is how you pass when to pass this map and all that we will see in the upcoming lectures when we will compile the report and we will export the report in the format of pdf say for example so that time we will see but for now you need to remember that this is how you set the value for the parameter so this value will be passed to this parameter in our report okay and this parameters value we have bound to this text field okay using the expression so this is the complete flow okay from our java application to this parameter from this parameter to this text field using the expression this is dollar p is parameter inside the braces parameter name so this is our very first parameter and we set its value if you like the video then please subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell like the video do comment in the comment section and share with your friends do you want to create reports from your java and spring boot application if yes then i am having complete course that is build reports with jasper reports java and spring boot let me show you the report that you will be able to create after completing this course so this is basically a student report card and this is the report in the format of pdf so in this course you will learn how to have image in your report and how to have this kind of label in the report and text field 
this value will come from your Java and Spring Boot application. You will learn how to have data in the table format and how to make sum of particular column values using Jasper variable. You will also learn to sort particular column values. You will learn how to have this kind of page footer where you can display current page out of total number of pages. Charts are very useful to summarize your data in the report. So in this course, you will learn how to have this kind of pie chart and 3D bar chart in your report. In this course, you will learn to export this kind of report in different formats like PDF, HTML and Microsoft Excel. You will learn to create this kind of report from your Java and Spring Boot application. So what are you waiting for? Link for the course is given in the description. Just click on that link and start creating reports from your Java and Spring Boot application. We'll see you in the another video. Till then, happy learning and happy coding.